hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching if you are new to my channel hello and welcome i do hope you would consider subscribing to my channel and becoming part of my family here on youtube now i wanted to do a very quick review on the louis vuitton giant monogram tote bag it's called the on the go tote bag I've owned this bag for a few months now, but I didn't want to do a review until I've had some sort of experience, if you will, with the bag. Um, I've checked out its functionality, the quality, and there are so many videos on YouTube about unboxing. So this is not an unboxing video. This is just an addition to what you can find um, on YouTube. Now, a disclaimer is that I'm someone who's extremely particular about spending. You know, I don't spend frivolously and everything I own, I have purchased myself. But this video is just to give you a little bit more insight into uh, someone else's experience using the bag. Now, if you don't like these sort of videos, please click out of it because you might be offended by my review on this bag. This is meant to help someone who might be thinking about purchasing this bag now or in the future. So I believe this bag is actually currently sold out online. I don't know if you can get it in other regions, but if you were thinking about getting this perhaps in the pre-loved market or if indeed it's, it's still available in a store close to you, I do hope this video helps you in terms of your decision making process. So this is the Louis Vuitton on the go tote bag. It measures 41 centimeters uh, across, 34 centimeters lengthwise, and width-wise, it is 19 centimeters. Now, as you can see, it's a reverse print bag. So one side of it is sort of like a lighter brown, mustardy, yellowish color, if I can put it that way. And then on the other side, you have the classic print, uh, which is a dark chocolate brown color. This bag is actually quite generous in terms of capacity. It is so big. And as you can see, it's got this really beautiful red slash rouge color inside. It's a hollow bag, but you can of course um, purchase inserts to make sure it's sturdy and it doesn't sort of sag at the bottom when you use it. But actually, oh, I should show you the bottom. So that's what it looks like on the bottom and on the sides, it just has your uh, classic print, but in different colors on either side. So you can actually use this bag as a, I don't want to call it a top handle bag, but you can hold it that way. So you can wear it on your elbow as such. Uh, I absolutely love the reverse prints. This is so gorgeous. It's actually, in my opinion, quite minimalist. So going into the details, it has a pocket inside of it and it's got a zipper to keep your belongings safe and secure. What's this? Okay, so it still has the um, card in it. Or if you perhaps were going shopping, you can actually use this as a shopping bag because it has the extended longer straps, which I find so, so useful. So you can actually wear it on your shoulder like that. So it actually has a closure as well, as you can see. So it has a metal clasp right there which you can fix or which you can close the bag with on the other side just to keep your belongings very safe. I would actually say that this bag is very substantial in the sense that it's quite weighty. So it's not a very light bag, but the quality of it is second to none. I'd much prefer spending that amount of money on a bag this size and of this quality than something very tiny but that's just my preference the leather is of top quality as you would expect from a brand such as the river Vuitton, and the finishing is just perfect i actually examined the bag before i got it just to make sure i was absolutely happy with it and yes i would highly recommend this bag if you are indeed looking to get it there's so much you can do with it. So I've used it as a hand luggage piece when I travel. I've also used it as an overnight bag and it's been absolutely perfect. I mean, you could wear this to work, but personally, I wouldn't wear it to work for several reasons. But the main one being that I just think it's too big a work bag. There's actually a smaller version of this now, which I believe is the MM tote bag. So I believe it's about 30 centimeters. Um, so you're probably talking about perhaps that big so it's uh yeah it's, it's a lot smaller than this well maybe not a lot smaller but it's some smaller and i think that might be a more appropriate bag but i absolutely love this and it's just so versatile 
it's um and it works beautifully for me so i'm going to insert a clip of me wearing this bag on a blackout and also you can wear this on anything you can wear it on a white or a cream sort of um, ensemble you can wear it on black but i love to wear it on black because i just think that it's um it's quite minimalist but it just brings out any outfit you wear i don't think you'll regret getting this bag if you decided to go for it so so i wanted to show you what it looks like on a black outfit and this is just so perfect the contrast is so beautiful i have worn it with cream as well as um, a mustardy colored uh, coat so the same color really as this a light brown coat and it's just it's perfect it's so versatile i'm actually five foot eight so this is how it sits um in terms of contrasting it with my height so yeah this is also how it sits when i use the inner straps as you can see it is just so beautiful the contrast is just perfect when you wear it with black this is what it looks like with the reverse print i absolutely love this reverse print it is just so chic you can't go wrong with this bag it's beautiful i love the sizing as well it's just perfect um, like I said, I wouldn't wear this to work because for me, it's just a little bit too big, but definitely for shopping or as an overnight bag or a hand luggage piece, it is just so beautiful. So I would highly recommend it for those purposes. I also wanted to show you what it looks like with a nice black winter coat. It just exudes elegance and I absolutely love it. You can't go wrong with this bag so this is how i usually wear it in the winter it's just so classy it's elegant you really can't go wrong with it that's it absolutely love it as you can see it just brings a little um, pop of color and it's just it's perfect so yeah I hope this has been helpful oh this color is so beautiful but I tend to wear it with um, all black like I said because I just really like the minimalistic uh, view of it and, and yeah this is usually how I would style it with my coat so that's the reverse side as well you can see the contrast is just so beautiful and it works perfectly so absolutely love it very happy with this purchase this is a purchase that i think will stay in my collection for a very long time to come i don't think i will be selling this bag if anything i might pass it on to my nieces or my daughter but i don't really think that this will leave my collection because it's such a versatile bag it's absolutely beautiful and the quality is just incredible absolutely incredible as you can see it's got some gold accessories as well on either side and on that side as well and the the quality is just really amazing i mean look at the capacity it's huge so i got some inserts that i will be using with it uh, just to keep things you know organized in it and also to keep it to keep the shape i don't think this bag is one that will um crease i mean the, the quality of the leather is pretty good so it won't crease anytime soon um yeah and i haven't had any issues with it at all as i said i've used it to travel and it's been very gracious to me so i absolutely love it so i've actually got my macbook uh 13 inch here because i wanted to show you what it actually looks like in terms of you know its capacity so that's the um macbook 13 inch well, it's the MacBook Pro 13 inch uh, laptop. So you can actually fit this very nicely in here and there is still a lot of capacity left. Look at that. It is quite heavy, I have to admit, when you have a laptop in there uh, because the bag itself is, you know, it's not a light bag. So once you've got things in the bag, it gets heavier so it might be worth it just to wear it on your shoulder like so just for extra support as opposed to wearing it as a top handle bag because i think at some point it might become too heavy 
Another thing I should mention is uh, someone asked me if the strap gets in the way. Frankly, it really doesn't. I mean the inner straps. They don't get in the way. It's just a matter of, you know, tucking it in there and that's it. So I've never had any issues with the strap. This is what it looks like when it has um, something heavy in it. As you can see, the bottom isn't sagging, which is what I absolutely love about this as well. With some tote bags, you find that it has some sort of a curvature when you have heavy items in there. But with this, I haven't had that issue at all. Uh, it also came with its dust bag. So it came in this giant dust bag, which I tend to use. Um, so I tend to basically wipe the bag down after I've used it and I just keep it in here for its protection. So would I recommend buying this bag? Yes, I would if it's something you really want. When I saw this bag, I just knew that I loved it. It was instant. Uh, so yeah, I do hope this video has been very helpful for you if you are looking to purchase this bag Definitely leave me a comment below Let me know if you have the bag already and what your experience has been with it Or perhaps if you are thinking about buying the bag and you have any questions Please let me know and I'd be very happy to answer your questions and help you with your decision-making process Once again, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have a great weekend and a great day ahead. Bye for now